this a mirage? No, Carl, it's not a mirage. You look gorgeous, Rachel. I'm so pleased for you, Shane. Why are you here? What are you doing here? How did you get here? The jet in a limo. Why? Why, what's right? Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I travel down here with a nurse, Nurse Owen. She's asleep in the next room. I would feel an awful lot better if you put your arms around me. Shane, mm -hmm. you must excuse us. Come on, you. Let me show you the moon. Oh, that old line. <laughs> <laughs> Three of us. Well, I just don't want you overdoing it. I'm not. They're just changing position. And besides, Nurse Owen is here. What are you talking about? You've already worn her out. She's in there taking a nap. Because she's not in as good shape as I am. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> oh, I've got a few ideas. Come on, let me have a feel. A vigorous heart beats. <laughs> they sound like two athletes Competing for space. Well, they do need a little bit more time to grow up and get stronger. And that's why you, my darling, must rest. Oh, I want a little more time to enjoy this paradise, please. Ah, that's my cue to exit. Stage right. <laughs> As a member of the family, you're welcome to station. Thank you. But now that everything is squared away with the Florida police, I want to get back to Bay City tonight. Oh, certainly you can spend the night. Thank you very much. But there is someone back in Bay City that I want to thank personally. That's understandable. Now you give our love to Victoria. I will. Well, if we're going to the airport, we best be off. Yes, the causeway is going to be underwater soon. Yeah, I will um, get my stuff and we'll go. It's so peaceful here. You know, in just a few short years, these twins will be running up and down that beach. We shall make sand castles together. Great fortresses with turrets and a moat and a drawbridge. Mm. Remember, I always win in the end. Oh, look, look at the sky. It's like gold spattered on a black canvas. Of course, I'll pick it up at the lot tomorrow. Why didn't I think of that? Now I get you all to myself tonight, and we can enjoy the beautiful sky. Look, isn't it beautiful? What are those three stars up there? Is that Orion? That? His belt. There's his sword. And the little star to the right? Sirius, the dog star. The Romans believed it to be a harbinger of death. Well, you're not a Roman, so stop looking so gloomy. Yeah, right. I come from Celtic stock. Oh, my darling, you and I, we are on the threshold of a wonderful adventure. Yes. First words, first steps. First tears. Oh, Rachel. It'll break my heart. Your heart is far too mushy. We have to do something <laughs> to toughen it up. <laughs> you do whatever you want with it. It's yours already. And tonight, the stars belong to us. I want to keep you safe under this canopy of stars for as long as forever is. Where is the pun? Certainly will. I'll see you out of the car. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> what are you doing inside? You're not supposed to be inside. Go on up. No! No, don't get near the fan. Go, go, go! Oh, you little bird. No! Kill yourself. No, no, no. Go, go, shoo. Shoo.
Rachel's fallen over. Rachel. Carl, Carl, get the nurse. Get the nurse now. Rachel, can you hear me? Hey. Hi. Hey. Pass until the tide goes out, and that's why we need a helicopter. How long? Well, come as soon as you can. It was so stupid. Oh, it's all right, darling. It. It's all right. It wasn't all right. It was just a dumb bird. I was trying to get out of here. Well, there was, there was a bird in the house. Stop. Don't be superstitious now. Carl, did you get in touch with the hospital? Yes. Everything's grounded. No medevac can come. There's a thunderstorm and heavy wind shear. All right, how long? Carl, I don't how know. long? What? What? Rachel, you know this. Your children are hell-bent on making an early appearance. They can't. They can't. I have to have a cease. I know, because of the tumor. Listen, thank God we have Nurse Owen. She, she came incredibly prepared, all right? Got everything we need. All right, great. Now, listen, we have everything that we would have in a hospital delivery room. We even have an epidural. What, what about the medibacks? No, they're, they're temporarily grounded. Oh. Okay. All right. Ah. You need to get a press. All right, I will get things set up in here. Get her up. So, All right. Oh, and it's going to make sense. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to get you out of these things. You're going to turn this into a, into a, a hospital delivery room? Yes, we're going to do the best we can. No, no, wait a lad. A C-section is serious surgery. Have you done this before? Oh, yes, I have, right? I have. But, but I mean, this is far from sterile. The babies are premature. This is dangerous. Listen to me, Carl. Carl, listen to me. We don't know when the medivacs are going to get here. Your babies are in distress, and Rachel is in danger now. What would you have me do? It wasn't supposed to be like this, huh? I need you. I need you strong right now, OK? Yes. Yes. Um, there's not much other choice, is there? No. Not if we're going to save those three lives. All that I love is here in your hands. Carl, here's a danger. I haven't practiced medicine in four years. And I say to you, this is no time for disclaimers. You better that. Carl, about the epidural. Yes, I know about epidurals. If you don't hit the spine just so, you could paralyze Rachel. Right. Ah! You all right, Shane? This is a risk. 